Another film under the belt of the Disney Empire. I'm pretty sure if you write Disney in the air and swap the letters around like Tom Riddle or something, it'll spell Skynet. They're that huge. They're annexing everything under their belt. I'm just saying. And here we are again. Here's another one. So let's review it. Moana. So Moana is the newest Disney animated film. This one stars The Rock and a girl who is a newcomer whose name I... I'm going to butcher it if I say it. That's her name. And you should know that name. You're probably going to hear it a lot more because her voice is amazing. And in Moana, Moana is a princess of these island folks. They don't really explore. They just stay on their island. They just hang out. But there's a demigod out there named Maui, played by The Rock, who stole something. She needs to go find him and have him return something that he stole. So the two team up and they have to go on this quest, which is a lot like Legend of Zelda Wind Waker for a lot of it. You give me an adventure on water with a little sailboat and some good music, I'm going to think Wind Waker. Now I might think Moana. Who knows? First of all, The Rock in this movie. His Charisma comes through even just in the voice. At this point, The Rock has proven that he is a superstar and he is here to stay. He has done what very few wrestlers before him have actually done. But he really, I love his character because his character's kind of a dick. Like I've said, man, I love my entertaining ass sarcastic pricks. We're kind of lovable because they're voiced by The Rock. All one of them now, which is that dude. But it brought a lot of entertainment factor and she has to say this sentence to him with something like, Maui, it's basically, hello, my name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my father, prepare to die. Like that, her name's not Inigo Montoya. Now he didn't kill her father and he's not she's not gonna kill him So it's a very different phrase, but it reminded me of that because she kept having to say it to him That was a tangent that was so useless for this review. I'm keeping it in though not cutting that But seriously the weight of this entire film is based on these two It's on their shoulders It's on the chemistry of these two the rock and a newcomer to the voice acting world to carry a film So yeah new Disney film no pressure, you two. And they do it, they really do. And it's done because Maui in this film is a layered character. There's more to him than meets the eye. You know that from the get-go and the movie properly explores that. Add in an adventure that takes you to the heights and depths of the ocean. It just, how is that not great entertainment? Oh, and great music too. Oh my God. Yeah, the soundtrack, be prepared to get your kids a soundtrack this year. Yeah, not only is the music as a whole great, but it has a couple of songs in here that yeah, you remember Let It Go? I don't know if it'll reach the heights of Let It Go. I don't know if it's gonna get burned out as much as Let It Go. I'm just saying, it's coming, prepare. You wanna see every parent out there right now, now that I said that every parent watching this is like, so it begins. As you're watching the movie, enjoy it, cause it's good music. But the core of this film, as it is 99.99999% of Disney animated films, is heart. It has good heart, it has a good lesson. Moana could very well be a new Disney classic. If I can find a flaw and I'm really digging for the flaws, one of them would be like, just like Wind Waker, there's a lot of time out there on the ocean where you have downtime. You can see it as bringing the film down, although I didn't, I just have to address it that some people might. And the ending is executed, it's exciting until it's anticlimactic. However, my argument for it is, if you're gonna give me an anticlimactic ending, give me an anticlimactic ending that's for the betterment of the story of the film. If you're gonna compromise the excitement, give me the goods, give me the hearts, give me the feels. And this movie pulled that off, it was great. In the end, in a world where animated films have been pretty good this year, Moana is another staple. The animated films this year are proof that 2016 was not a venomously divisive ass horrid year. Not just anyway, we have ourselves some cartoons. I can't wait to see Moana again. I will say Moana is awesome-tacular. All right guys, so Moana, have you seen it? What did you think about it? What's your favorite animated film this year? Whatever it is, whatever you think, comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you wanna see more, click right here to see more.